Hey there, welcome to Watch Recap, and today, I will recap an American thriller, action movie called, Run, Hide, Fight. Okay, so let's start. Zoe Ho is a senior high school student. After losing her mother to cancer, she has become less social and has lost her smile. One morning, Zoe with her father Todd is on a hunting mission where she shoots a buck, but the buck is still alive. Now they have two options, wait until it dies painfully or free it from the pain. But before he could decide, Zoe takes up a rock and slams at the deer's head. Todd is shocked seeing Zoe has no sympathy left in her, but understands her odd behavior might be a result of the trauma she went through when her mother passed away. Later at the breakfast, Zoe hallucinates talking to her mother and she do that frequently. She knows about this but is afraid to get called mad, she hasn't told anyone about this. It is the only thing which makes her feel good. Her best friend Louis comes to pick her up for school. On their way, they are pushed off-road by some of their bully classmates, while they try to start the car again, Zoe finds it weird when she sees her classmate Chris, placing something in the middle of the field, it is normal for someone like Chris who is considered an outcast. Today is the senior prank day at school, where senior students pull silly pranks on teachers, Zoe and Lewis don't like this day. Zoe's chemistry teacher, Mrs. Jane, notices her odd behavior since her mother's demise, she wants to talk about it but is ignored by Zoe. Later, she finds a prom proposal from Lewis inside her locker, she doesn't like to go to the prom, and finds it difficult to say no to Lewis. Meeting at the cafeteria she avoids talking about it with Lewis, but he asks directly and wishes to have fun with her and others at the prom. She excuses herself going to the bathroom, meanwhile we see some explosions through the city, which looks intentional to distract the cops, walking into the bathroom Zoe see the bully Anna doing something with the vent. She goes to check, we see an impression of a gun on the dusty surface of the vent, which means there was a gun which is now taken by the girl Anna. At the cafeteria, a van breaks in and Chris comes out of the van with a gun and shoots some students dead, he is in a group of three, Anna who is actually Chris's sister also joins them with a gun. The school loser Kip shoots a girl trying to escape, and Tristan the leader of the group stabs the coach dead. They have now taken over the school and made students their hostages, the girl shot by Kip, comes inside the bathroom and dies in Zoe's arms. Zoe now seems to know what is happening, she looks carefully to listen to the shooters, Tristan sees the guy who used to bully him, Chris shoots him without the permission of Tristan, Kip goes to check inside the bathroom, sensing the danger, Zoe escapes through the vent. Tristan tells a girl named Duan to call her mother and tell her about everything, her mother calls the police, after the call, Tristan tells everybody to do the same and call someone they love before they get killed. Everyone did as he said and says a last goodbye to their loved ones in case they don't return safe. Meanwhile, the vent breaks and Zoe falls into the kitchen. He hides as Chris comes to suspect. A woman who was hiding and was on the phone with his husband, she sacrifices herself so Chris doesn't kill Zoe. Chris also says he killed the thing to the lady's husband in the He is heartless. Tristan calls the receptionist to tell her about the situation. She sends the guard in the cafeteria and tries to call 911. Zoe has somehow escaped from the building, but looks back and realizes that those bastards inside doesn't deserve to live so she decides to go back in, she saw some students going in and asks them to go back to their home as the school is under attack. Tristan asks everyone to start streaming from their smartphone on any platform showing him to the nation. He threatens that if they stop his live stream, he will kill every person in the school at that very moment. As he shows the world his plan through the stream, the principal comes in with the guard, it is revealed that Tristan was called to the principal's office twice, the last week for his bad behavior and falling grades. Principal called him a worthless man who never will be of worth even in the future. But as we know, Tristan is that psycho guy in every movie who kills innocent people for his stupid beliefs. The principal tries to calm him down but was shot dead, Chris goes behind the running guard who is so scared he peed in his pants, Chris doesn't shoot him and he manages to escape. Lewis has now the most number of viewers on the stream, so Tristan makes him his main cameraman, it's good for Lewis, as the cameraman never dies. Zoe with her friend Cora then proceeds to alert every classroom individually. Some believe it, and some ignore it, Zoe rings the fire alarm so everyone gets out, 
but Anna goes to the electricity room, shooting the old guard she proceeds to cut the power supply making the alarm go off. Everyone thinks it was a false alarm so they came back. The receptionist announces from the speaker that the school is under lockdown and everyone just stay locked and safe at their positions. The first squad of cops arrive, Zoe is reaching out to the receptionist's desk to make an announcement, but a bag full of explosives left at the reception by Kip previously explodes, killing all of them except Zoe. Tristan is now being broadcasted by Big News Channel. Anna comes to check so Zoe pretends to be dead. Anna also smashes her hand just for fun. Zoe then proceeds to alert classrooms to escape as Tristan wanted the lockdown because it makes easier to hunt the innocent people stuck in the building. Right now while telling a teacher to escape, Anna shoots Zoe in her thigh. She then runs into the room full of balloons and attacks Anna. A vigorous scratching of faces and Zoe finally shoots Anna dead. Tristan goes into the Spanish classroom and asks the Spanish teacher Mrs. Nunez to take off her clothes and records her. Police finds the address of Tristan and goes to check, only to find his mother dead. Zoe's father Todd also got the situation by now. To distract Tristan from Mrs. Nunez, Lewis asks him questions from the comments of people, and the psychopath answers as if it provides the youth some knowledge. Zoe with the phone of the dead guard watches the stream. Here, it turns out Chris is delusional and that is why he joined Tristan. He gets to know that the cops are preparing to invade so he starts to fire on the cops. Tristan is alerted by the firing and returns to the cafeteria with the hostages. Kip proceeds to invade other classrooms but Zoe distracts him, attacking him with the fire extinguisher she knocks him out. She ties him up and starts hallucinating to talk to her mother. Her mother says she is not letting her die completely as she keep thinking about her. Kip then wakes up and is surprised by knowing she hallucinates too. When they talk, it is revealed that Kip did it all because he was bullied for years. She finds it so stupid that if he got bullied by some, he will kill all of them, even those who are innocent. She also says that it will become worse for him if he survived and will have to face people for what he did. Todd comes outside the school and watches the stream. Zoe then takes Kip's gun and meets Mrs. Jane trying to escape with some students. Zoe helps them escape, but Mrs. Jane stays with her to help her. A rescued student tells Todd that his daughter saved everyone and is still doing so. As a father, 